freedom. Um, we have actually been singing that song like from the ministry just started, and we were singing that song everywhere, and everyone would, would always ask for freedom. So once again, I personally didn't want to put on the album. I didn't want to do it that night. But I was like, you know what? Let's do it as our last time. Everybody say. Every time we do the song, it just becomes <laughs> more and more um, emphatic. Like it's like we get like a new revelation each and every time we sing "Freedom." That song is very, very powerful. Every time we sing it, even like yeah, every time we sing it, from we say the first word, it just the atmosphere just shifts and just changes completely. The biggest part to me is, is to see that, the, that people's lives have really been changed by the song. Like, because we don't sing that song just to have fun. Like, we're really declaring freedom in the atmosphere and, and that people's that, that chains are broken and people are set free from things. And it, like, you can see the crowd come to realization that um, there's freedom in Christ. That song, it's a statement. It's a statement of the future. You don't even have to be free yet. But when you sing freedom, you're setting that presence in the atmosphere. It's like a banner over your life. It's um, telling any spirits that are holding on to you that you don't have power over you. You're, you're loosening the shackles. So that's how that song speaks to my life. When I think about freedom, it brings me back to my, my teenage years. Um, I had a teenage pregnancy, and whenever I think about freedom, it just reminds me that I'm free. I don't have to go back to the things that I used to do. I can live my life um, moving forward, being who Christ has called me to be. The liberty that we have, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, devil, it's over, it's over. Every chain is broken, every yoke is destroyed. At the name of Jesus, we praise you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Everybody say, we shout it out. Yeah, freedom. Uh, it really, um, I think every single time we sing that song, it just um, invokes the spirit of freedom and the atmosphere of freedom. I mean, freedom is a song of great power. Um, when we say that we're free, we're not only saying it, you know, just to say it, we say it into our circumstances, into the power of darkness. It's a declaration song. You know, I am free, freedom, you know, no matter how strong the chain is, no matter how familiar the spirit is, we are free through Christ Jesus, right? So I mean, that song, that song goes all the way in. Um, I love freedom, and I believe that only God has the power to break chains, and when we believe that God has really broken the chains and we declare this by faith, great things happen. You are free! Singing freedom, you have to be ready to like do altar work when you're done. <laughs> like legitimately, that's one of the reasons why we don't sing it as often. Let's be real. <laughs> that's why I actually like, said I'm like, yo, there's much altar work. work to be done after. Uh, like, like he said, they'll start dancing and then they lose it, and you're just like, oh. okay, here we go. Here we go. Time to pray. <laughs> Can we get a job cloth. Yeah. <laughs> 
well, you don't end up singing it because Matthew decides that he wants to run around the church. And um, then you have Justin knocking his head down. Then you have like Tanya going off and everything like that. Then you have like, if, he just, if he's the only one standing there. You gave me 